So when I originally made this thing, like when I designed it, I was mostly concerned about just getting one working. I wasn't too concerned about how hard it was to manufacture. I knew we'd deal with that later. Um, but this section here that I'm doing right now is the hardest part to put together. And one of the ways I can make it fit, and just because things aren't perfect perfect, I've rooted out this hole to be a little bit tall that way. So it's an oval. So if it, it just gives it a little bit of play. Let's see what I'm talking about maybe. So all six of these gears have to fit on here. All right, I need these all lined up. There's a bunch of holes here and pins and everything. Gonna be lined up perfectly. And then these gears go right in the center. And move. And I line these this side up. I can match the gear teeth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I gotta get it right in here. Without anything. And as soon as I get the holes, what was that? Yeah. Okay. All right, I got them all in there. They look like they're lined up right, which means this should be able to go, yeah, just like that. So run it a little bit to loosen it up a bit. Maybe I'll put a bit of grease in there. Well, I could just put a little dot of super glue on these sticks, but I don't have any. So I am going to take some little extra gears I made. I actually cut these in half. It was originally that tall, but. A little pressure and a knife made it skinnier. I'm gonna jam this right on there. If I can, come on, get on there. Oh, oh there we go. And okay, that's looks good. And then I'm going to use my trusty slaughtering iron here. Kind of melt that in place. I'll do that for all six. The one down here, though, I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want it to get in the way of the gear that goes down there. There is a gear. You know, I'm finding soldering iron to be really useful for, useful for welding things on and for cutting oh, no. pieces off. Sweet. All right, this is the updated one of these. So it's got those nubs to hold the little, little axles in on both sides, of course. I also increased the size of this and I filleted all the bottoms of those so they'd be stronger. And then on this side, I made, you know, all these, all these skinny little things. I made them fatter so they'll be a lot stronger. Yeah. Oh, this is my support material right here. Oh, I'll use both hands to pull that off so I don't wreck anything. But yeah, that should be... That should be excellent. 
There are two other parts I updated. At two in the morning, because that's just become my standard thing now. I wake up at two in the morning and I'm wide awake thinking about these robot parts. So I pull my computer out. Well, the first, first night I did this a few nights ago, several nights ago, I was like, well, let me see if I can remember how to use this AutoCAD thing. And it took me a minute, but I figured it out, started making little adjustments. Now, yeah, it's become just the standard thing. From like 2 a.m. to 3 or 4 in the morning, I'm just like drafting to, to improve my little, my little bits and pieces here. Partly just because it's nice to make them better and stronger and better stuff and everything. But also because several people asked, you know, if I could share all these parts so they could print one out. So I'm kind of trying to make it easier to assemble, you know? Oh, yeah. So I smoothed this out a little bit. I fixed that hole in the top so I don't have to drill it out funny. It's just already the right shape. And then there's this little chunk I took out of here that I totally forgot about until <laughs> I put this one together and put the, the gear in the front here and realized when this thing turns, this stick in the middle actually hits the gear. So it, yeah, it just needs a little chunk out so it can get, so, so it doesn't hit the gear. Um, yeah, and I have one other piece that I've improved a lot, which is, uh, this piece right here. This kind of goes on top of, you know, it fits over those two sticks. Well, these two sticks should be cut way lower, but this kind of goes on there. And the motor, one of the motors, the steering motor fits in here. So I made a little motor housing. Anyway, I'll print that out soon and it'll be amazing. <laughs>